Right, oh, this is where the magic's about to happen. This is where I'm about to cook. But before I do, I want to show you my new stove. I bought myself a brand new stove and it is a ripper. I've got so many stoves, it's ridiculous. This is a Jet Boil Genesis Base Camp. Comes in a bag. You take it out of the bag. The bag actually has this plastic thing in here as a wind guard, but I'm not going to worry about using that. It's a bit flimsy looking. Right, here's the, the pot. The lid is the frying pan. Then there's the pot. The pot lid is not just a lid, but it's also a strainer. So when I cook the yabbies, I'm going to be able to just pick it up by the handle, pour all the water out, and leave the yabbies in the pot. That's a really good thing. Now, inside the pot, there's the pot. One of the reasons I bought this stove is because I wanted a stove with a big pot so that I can cook bulk yabbies. My usual little hiking and backpack stoves have these little weeny pots, but this is a much bigger pot. And you'll see underneath, it's got these, uh, this design under here to help hold the heat in, which helps uh, speed up the boiling process, but it also allows it to fit on the stove top a lot better. And I'll show you that now. This is the stove. It's being held together by these two rubber clips. Unclip them, fold it over, and there is my two burner stove. It's got a uh, piezo ignition, or, or a sparker if you want to call it that, so you can just hit the button and, and that lights it. It's got a, um, and it's got an infinitely variable flame control. Unlike my Coleman, which my hyper flame, you get it down really low and then it springs back up high, this will go so low that it'll go out and reignite and go out and reignite as it goes around or you can have it up to a full full flame and everything in between it's just got an amazing control over the flame right here's the pot remember i said before it fits on it sits really well you put that on there it's in you can't knock it off you've got to lift it up it, uh, it's, it's unreal now the first thing i want to do here today i've got to plug the gas bottle in it runs off, where is it? Now it runs off this gas bottle. No doubt you could run it off a full size gas bottle as well, but I'm just using one of these for convenience purposes. And this. This was actually in the lid of the bag. I forgot to show you that part. So I plug that into that, that into that, and away we go. Now there's the jet boil Genesis base camp ready to go. I don't know how the gas, the gas, it comes out of this cylinder into there and into the stove but how does it get over to this stove it must there must be a little pipe oh there it is in there you can see a little copper pipe in that uh in that little arm there the foldable arm that's how it works anyway i've got it all set up i'm gonna throw a heap of water into this big pot and i'm gonna cook up all those yabbies and then while they're cooling i'll get the veggies and the fish on and fill up the fish but there's me water vinegar and lemon combination let's fire it up turn the gas on Light it. Away we go. I'll put the lid on. There's a couple of them there that are a little bit smaller than I'd like them to be, but on the whole, they're not too bad. They're not massive, but they're certainly big enough. And the water's on the boil. This is an absolute rip of this frying pan. I have actually used this stove set up at home. This is its maiden voyage in the field, but I have used it at home. Water's warming. I may even end up cooking with two frying pans. This is the one that I take on my uh, on a lot of my other kitchen cooks. I just put my finger in the water and it wasn't really warm. And then I realised I didn't have it right up. Look how much you can turn this. You can give it like four full turns. Look at it going turning, turning. Turning, turning. That's down low. It can go lower. It's just full flame control. That's why I really like this. That's really like Watch this. How many times I'll turn it? I was trying to boil the water. It was on about there. Look at how many turns I had to give it. Now it might get boiling a bit quicker. It must be getting close. I'm starting to boil. And I don't put the yabbies in when it's just starting to boil, I put them in when it's a raging boil, so I'll give it a couple more minutes. It looks like we've got a pretty serious boil here. Yeah, there's probably close to four litres of liquid in there. There's uh, three litres of water, my, my water bottle is a three litre drink bottle, that's all in there. 
probably a well over half a litre of vinegar and quite a bit of lemon juice. Oh, they are looking good. That is just an amazing sight. That's a five litre pot. I absolutely love this Jet Boil Genesis Base Camp. Now I'm not sponsored by Jet Boil before anybody jumps to conclusions. I bought this during the week and I absolutely love it. It's brilliant. I reckon that's enough. I'll turn it off. I'll turn it four times. It's like doing up a screw. Yeah. Usually I get the tongs now and I pick them out one at a time with the tongs. But I'm really looking forward to trying this and seeing how it works. The lid on the jet boil has got hole in it, holes in it. It's a strainer lid. I should be able to tip the water out without losing the yabbies. Got to be a bit careful. It's very hot. I probably should have some kind of gloves on. Look at that. It's very hot, as you'd expect. I haven't got a tea towel with me. That's better, a bit of paper towel under each thumb. You can see the yabby's all pushed up against the lid there. All right, awesome. All the water's gone. Oh, yeah, if you could smell what I can smell right now, you'd be uh you'd be in heaven they smell so good this smells so good now, i've got my fish in here just like the veggies i've got it down low you know what i'm going to do i'm going to throw the yabbies in here as well they're already cooked but i'm just going to just heat them up a little bit in the oil and then i'm going to eat them as a bit of an entree one of the reasons I use so much oil when I'm doing this because unlike on a stove top it can be very very hard to to get things level and you end up with oil down one end of the pan if you want to cover the whole pan you need to have it deep at one end and shallow at the other end if that makes sense Right, I reckon I'm ready to dish this up I put two pieces of fish in my esky under the ice to take home for lunch tomorrow I reckon there's uh that's enough for my tea tonight, I think. Now, time to dish up. Come and get it. Oh! <coughs> 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 <coughs>